Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills, it's how to make mayonnaise. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're making mayonnaise. Now you're probably wondering, why would I make my own mayonnaise? I can buy it in a jar, it sits in the fridge forever, it's always consistent. Well, if you make your own, you can control what goes in it. You can control how salty it is, how tangy it is, how thick it is. You can change the flavor a lot easier by making your own, by adding herbs and other things, and it's easier than if you're trying to doctor a pre-made product. Now, when I first learned to cook 100 years ago, it was a job to make mayonnaise from scratch. You had to have your eggs and everything in a bowl, and as you're whisking and whisking, you dripped oil in, literally drop by drop, until it started to emulsify. And then it was a very, very slow stream, and it took forever, and I hated making mayonnaise. But now in modern times, we have blenders, we have food processors, and we have a stick blender. This is how we're gonna make mayonnaise today. I have here the beaker that came with my stick blender. Not all of them come with a handy little beaker like this. So if you don't have that, you can use a tall glass or a mason jar or a pitcher. You want something tall with straight sides. We're gonna start with egg yolks. I have two egg yolks here from Extra Large Eggs, right in. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard. I have just a tablespoon. This is gonna add a lot of flavor and it's gonna help this all emulsify and that's what mayonnaise is. It's an emulsification of fats and liquids. Scrape that in. Next, we need a little bit of cold water. Just a tablespoon. I have some extra. In case this turns out to be a little thick, you can thin it out with a couple drops more of water. Acid is needed next. Now, most recipes call for using vinegar or one sort or another. Red wine, white wine. I'm using lemon juice today. I really prefer the freshness of it. And this is freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's important. Just a teaspoon. Next is oil. Now, remember I told you the way I used to have to make it, you drop by drop. Uh-uh, this all gets dumped right in. Eight ounces of a neutral oil, this is eight ounces or 225 mils. I'm using canola oil today. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil, grape seed. You want a neutral flavored oil for this. Right in. I'm gonna add just one ounce or 30 mils of extra virgin olive oil. Why am I not using all olive oil? The reason is olive oil is a strong flavored and it could overwhelm the flavoring of everything. Plus, sometimes it gets a little bitter with all the emulsification if it's too heavy. So I use just this little bit and it's gonna give that extra layer of flavor. Salt and pepper is next. Good grinding of salt. And I'm using white pepper today. And I'm using white pepper because I don't want all the specks in my mayonnaise that regular pepper would do. And this won't show as easily. Good grinding. Now it's time to blend. Now I'm gonna take my stick blender I'm gonna put it into the bottom. I'm gonna hold this on the bottom until I start seeing the mayonnaise billowing out from underneath, and as it thickens up, I'll move the blender up and down to make sure it's all incorporated. This goes really fast. We have mayonnaise. So let's just see how thick this is. Very thick, very luscious. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna taste this quite yet. You're gonna want to put this, wrap it up tightly, put it in the fridge, let it rest, let it chill. It needs to relax and come together. Then you can taste it for seasoning and add salt and pepper. 
Don't add acid, that will break the emulsification. Just add a little salt and pepper if you need it. You can change the flavor by adding tomato paste or herbs and spices, things like that. This will keep in your fridge in an airtight container for seven days. Now this is a small amount and that's all you need because it won't last seven days. It's just that good. If you are now inspired to make your own mayonnaise, then do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, I'm gonna go put this in my fridge, and then I think I'm gonna have a cocktail and relax. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, cheers.